A career as a reporter provides many remarkable opportunities and experiences, not all of which you necessarily look forward to. Today, thanks to the U.S. Army and some colleagues who kind of dared me, I had an experience I'll never forget. I've had the privilege of flying with the Blue Angels and the Thunderbirds, but never the Army's Golden Knights. Like the other military aerial exhibition groups, the Knights use aircraft, but unlike the others, not for the entire performance. They exit their plane halfway through its flight. We'll talk about the jump, and then we'll start getting geared up and go, go jump out of an airplane. The day began about 9 a.m. with a briefing, most of which consisted of signing and initializing a litany of legalese, signing away our right to sue anybody should we be injured or killed. This drill was followed by instructions on how we were to exit a perfectly good airplane in flight. As soon as we rock out and fall out of the airplane, we need you to go into a nice arch position. You'll bet I'll arch as I try to scramble back into that plane. But Macho Me can't do that. There are women making this jump. I think that they're trying to get out of my contract. Really? <laughs> Yours too, Bob. I, uh, <laughs> gee, thanks a lot. It hadn't occurred to me. <laughs> Why are we here? Well, I don't know. But Pam Peralta knew this principal of Chamberlain High wants to expose her students to the opportunities in the military. Another avenue for kids to pursue. And I know that the, if they get into the military service, they're looking at uh, uh, educational opportunities, uh, financial opportunities and, and maybe then a career for life it's a good thing and it can be i began my career in the military as a photojournalist but you can't help but wonder when for the first time in your life you're going to fall out of a perfectly good airplane well we all did and thanks to the skill and professionalism of the u.s army's golden knights we all had a fantastic flight or fall and the night's history of never having sustained a tandem jump casualty right. continues intact, nice as were we. I wish all my tandem passengers was as good as Bob was. How was that, Bob? I got the Is that money. unscripted? I've got the money. I'll pay you as soon as we get out of these Thanks, floors. man. I appreciate it. <sighs> did you see me blowing your kisses, Gail? <laughs> Of course I did. That's very funny. Bob came back today. I first thing I asked him when I got into work is, okay, how was the jump? And he's like, I've never been so scared. You, I think you said the last time you were that frightened was the first time you were ever on live television in right. a newscast. Right. Uh, just a few years yeah, ago. Both times my knees were shaking. But I tell you what, those Golden Knights, those Army folks, uh -huh. professional, sharp. Uh, great sense of humor, but when we got in that aircraft and were about to jump, they were squared away and they had well, me and everybody else squared away. Let's certainly hope so. And I, like want to, fun. I want to thank Billy, my dive, or jump master rather, for uh, getting me down safely and what a great experience. Well, and he, he handles the script well too. Yes, he does. <laughs> Son of a gun. Steve. Now, Chief Meteorologist Steve Jervis.